My name is Martin Rosengille and I work in the monitoring department. In this video, I will briefly tell you about human rights and why it is vital that you are introduced to the international human rights framework. So what are human rights? Well, human rights are universal legal guarantees protecting individuals and in some cases groups. Human rights law obligates the state as a primary duty bearer to do certain things and prevents it from doing others. The term human right covers the full spectrum of the internationally recognized rights, being civil and political rights such as the freedom of speech and the personal liberty, as well as economic, social and cultural rights such as the right to food, education and health. The purpose of the international human rights framework is not to replace the domestic protection of individual. Its purpose is to make the protection of human rights more effective within the national systems. When the state has ratified a human rights convention, it is obligated to adopt measures to ensure that the convention is implemented and enforced at the national level. So why is this relevant? Well, within a human rights-based approach, development interventions at the national level should aim at the further realization of human rights. Therefore, human rights principles and standards should guide the process of development. So in order to work with a human rights-based approach, you will need basic knowledge of international human rights systems, human rights standards and human rights principles derived from the core human rights conventions. You will also need to gain an understanding of the architecture of the international legal framework. So whether you are a rights holder or a duty bearer, knowing the international legal framework will help you access the information you need for your programming. At the end of this section, there are a few lists of resources that can guide and support your work when you go about doing a human rights analysis.